welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Jillian and today I have a haul for you guys. So it is going to be from both Target and also Walmart, but honestly, majority of everything is from Target. I only have a few items from Walmart. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the items that I purchased from Walmart first, and then I'll move on to Target just because I do, like I said, have a lot of things from Target. But the first item I bought was a sweater. If you guys followed me last year, I did buy this sweater in two other colors. I got it in like a green color and then I think like an off-white like cream color as well. And I love them. They're so comfortable and I feel like I can start wearing it now I can also wear it when it gets a little bit cooler. So it is from time and true I got a small and this color is like a mustard yellow burnt color and I love it I think it's perfect for fall time and it does have a slit on The side right here and like I said, I do have this from last year. I think last year it did have like some triangle um, in the front, like a little, I don't even really know how to explain, but it did have like a little triangle thing in the front and this year it doesn't. But other than that, it's the same exact sweater. So I grabbed one of those. And then I also grabbed this, I don't know if this is like a t-shirt, sweater t-shirt. I don't know. It's too thin to be like a sweater, but I grabbed this. They also had it in um, black and gray, but I decided to go with this color because I'm trying to go out of my comfort zone. I buy a lot of like black and white and like neutral color clothing. So I'm trying to get some color into my wardrobe. So I grabbed this one. It's like a baby pink with brown and white. And I just thought that was really cute. It's like tie dye in the front. And then it does have these pockets right here. And this is the No Boundaries brand. And I got it in a large. It was $10.96. I did get it in a large because I like these types of shirts to be oversized. So I can tuck it in a little bit in the front, wear it with leggings or jeans. So yeah, that's the second item that I picked up. Hopefully I'm giving you guys a good look at that. And then the last clothing item I got is these sweatpants. If you guys watch The Office, you guys probably would know what Dunder Mifflin is. And I love that show. Me and my husband binge watched it not long ago. So I found these sweatpants and they're just like a dark blue. And then on the side it says Dunder Mifflin and then it has like a drawstring. And I tried them on and they're super, super comfortable. So I just grabbed Last that. clothing item I purchased is for my son, Ryan. I found this shirt. It was on clearance for only $2. So I grabbed it. Why not? Just a simple tee to wear. It's gray with black stripes. So I grabbed him of that. And this is the Wonder Nation brand. Now, everything else, honestly, is just random stuff. So I picked him up this dinosaur cup. And this dinosaur cup was super cheap. I think it was like $2.96. He loves dinosaurs and he loves cups like this. So I grabbed this and I'm going to put this aside for like Christmas to either put like in his stocking or something. So I just grabbed that. They didn't have any girl ones or I would have grabbed one for Madison. Um, so I'm going to keep on going back to see if we can find any cute girl ones. But this is going to be for Ryan. I also picked up these scrunchies. So I just thought the design on all these scrunchies were really cute. And I always hear from hairstylists that you shouldn't wear like the tight um, traditional hair bands because it actually messes up your hair. Try to use scrunchies like this. So I just grabbed a pack of this and it was $4.88 for a pack of five. Also for the kids, I found these on clearance. These were only 25 cents each and they are balloons and you can turn the balloons on and off. They light up. And this one is a unicorn that lights up. Madison loves balloons. So I know she's going to love this. And then Ryan, again, I got him a dinosaur one because he loves dinosaurs. He also loves balloons as well. And I just thought that was cool that you can turn it on and off. A lot of balloons like this, once the light turns on, you like can't turn it off. So I think it's cool that you can turn it on and off. And for a quarter, why not grab that? This is going to go in their stocking. Next few items are going to be jewelry. And this first pair of earrings I found on clearance. And I thought they were so cute. They were on clearance for $3.00. It is the Time and True brand and it's just like the leopard print and I just loved those. So I grabbed a pair of those. I also grabbed these just cute black studs. They're from Time and True as well and they were $2.88. And the next pair of earrings is going to be another one by Time and True for $2.88. I actually already own these um, earrings but I've actually had them for a while and they lasted quite a while before they started turning. So now they're starting to turn color on the top because obviously they're fake. So I just grabbed another pair because I really love them and for 288, why not? And then the last jewelry item I purchased was another um, piece from Time and True just because I love that brand. Also $2.88, it's a shorter um, length necklace and it has like this little 
half moon on it and I thought that was really cute so I just grabbed that necklace. I also picked up some wax melts and this is in the scent crisp fall leaves. It smells so good so I just grabbed one pack of that. The last few items is going to be makeup items. So the first thing I got was this L'Oreal Paris Unlimited Mascara. I was in need of some new mascara so I grabbed this one in blackest black grabbed that. I'm also almost out of my current um, concealer, which I've been using, I think the Wet n Wild one, and I'm almost out. I want to try a new one. This one had good reviews, so I just grabbed this. This is by Milani, and I got my color in 140 Pure Beige. This is the darkest color I could find or that, that they had, so I just grabbed that. I also grabbed a lip gloss because I thought this color was really pretty, and I just realized it's like a plumper, but it's okay. It's called Lifter Gloss, it is by Maybelline in the color Stone. So I just thought that color was really pretty and I also really liked the packaging as well. And the last item I got was a setting spray, but I just realized I bought a setting spray from Target. I think it's Milani brand. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna bring this one back just because now I have two brand new setting sprays. But like I said, this is from Maybelline. It's called a Lasting Fix. If you guys have tried it, let me know how it works. Maybe I'll keep it, but yeah, I apparently shopped too much because I didn't realize I already bought a new setting spray and then I went out and bought this one as well. So this is the last item that I purchased from Walmart. So now I'm going to go ahead and move on to everything that I bought from Target. All right. So the first few things I'm going to show you guys is going to be clothing. I bought myself two shirts and then the rest of the clothing is for the kids. So the first shirt I was so excited to find. I love Hocus Pocus. It's one of my favorite movies, childhood movies. So found this Hocus Pocus shirt. It says it's just a bunch of Hocus Pocus and it's like a dark gray. And this was literally the last one I could find in a size large, which is fine. I like my shirts to be oversized so I can tie and tuck. So just grabbed this Hocus Pocus shirt, which like I said, I was so excited to find. And this shirt was $14.99. And I got myself one more shirt. This was on clearance. It is from the Wilds and Fable brand. It was originally $8, but I think it was half off. So I got it for four. And it's in a size small and it's like a lime green color and I thought that was really cute so I grabbed that. So the rest of the clothes is going to be for the kids. I definitely need to go out and buy them some more winter and fall clothing but for now I just bought them a few things because they were having a deal when I bought it. I think the Cartwheel app it was like 20% off all of kids clothing so I went ahead and grabbed them a few things. So the first shirt is going to be for Ryan. It's the Cat and Jack brand. And it's just a gray tee with a bunch of like little arrows all over it. And I thought that was really cute for him. I also got him a Halloween shirt. It says more candy. We love Halloween in this house. So I had to grab him that. I also found this fall shirt. I thought was so cute. So it says bright leaves and apple picking, corn maze, hoodies, pumpkins, and everything. And I thought that was really cute. So I grabbed him at that shirt as well. He loves dinosaurs, so I found this sweatshirt and he loves it. Has a bunch of different colorful dinosaurs all over. It's just a black sweatshirt. And this is also from the Cat and Jack brand. Talking about dinosaurs, I also found this dinosaur shirt that I really liked. And this one is also from Cat and Jack. It's just a green dinosaur shirt. And he also was so happy when I showed him this shirt. So grabbed him that shirt as well. Then I just got him like a basic tee. I like to get him like fun shirts like that, but then I also like to just get him just a plain basic tee. So this is just a um, gray and blue long sleeve basic tee. And I think everything is from Cat and Jack. And it's really hard to find him pants um, cause he's super skinny, but he's tall. So these, both these pair of pants actually fit him pretty good. So I'm super excited about that, but I got him these joggers and these were $16.99 and they're just like a gray color but inside it's super super warm it's like a double lined so it's going to keep him nice and warm once it starts getting cold out it has some pockets in the front and also the back but I really loved that it had drawstrings so that I can make it um tight on around his waist because he's super skinny but tall like I said so I grabbed him these and then the other pair of pants I got him were these which also had drawstrings these are also joggers for $17.99. I tried both these pants on him. Hopefully it doesn't shrink on him like the length because right now it fits him pretty good. So I just grabbed him these pants as well. And then I think the rest of the clothes is for Madison. So I grabbed her this long sleeve 
shirt with a bunch of colorful hearts all over. I also got Madison a Halloween shirt. So I got her this orange shirt that says boo in the front. I thought they would go really cute with these leggings. These leggings are orange with a bunch of spider webs all over. I love the Cat and Jack um, leggings. I feel like they're great quality and they always last her a while. So grabbed her those leggings. I also grabbed her these green leggings and they have like a bunch of sparkles all over. She has these in like three other colors and I love them. So grabbed her those leggings. I also grabbed her this long sleeve shirt and it has a bunch of glitter hearts all over long sleeve, super cute. And then the last clothing item I got from Madison was a sweatshirt and it's just a Disney princess um, sweatshirt. I think this is the only Disney brand item I purchased. Everything else is from Cat and Jack, but also inside it is so soft. So it's gonna keep her nice and um, warm once it starts getting cold. So I just grabbed her that sweatshirt as well. So I did buy a few makeup items from Target as well. Like I said, I completely forgot that I had bought a setting spray from Target. So this is a setting spray that I bought. I think I also read up really good reviews on this. So that's why I had bought it. It's by Milani. It's called Make It Last Matte 16 Hour Wear. So I'm not sure which one I'm going to return. I think I'm going to look them both up, see which one has the best reviews and then return the other one. So if you guys have used the Milani one and also this Maybelline one, I'll let me know which one works better so I know which one to keep. But I got this one from Target. And then I also got this Wet n Wild Primer Serum and I needed a new primer and I figured a serum one would be good because it'll keep you nice and moisturized and hydrated. So I think I read up the reviews on this one too and it had good reviews. So I grabbed that serum um, primer. I also got this CoverGirl Clean Fresh Skin Milk Foundation. So they have a BB cream like this and I love it, but I've been wanting to try this one. This one's actually a foundation. So I figured I would try it out. I got mine in the color 590 Tan Rich. I suck at like matching myself when it comes to foundations and like BB cream. So I'm hoping this color will work for me, but I grabbed that as well. Then I also picked up this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Translucent Powder that I wanna try out. So I do have a powder, but it's a tinted powder. And anytime I use like um any foundation and then I use that powder over, I feel like it's just way too much makeup. So I just wanted like a translucent one that had no color to set my makeup. So I'm hoping this works good as well. So I grabbed that. I also picked up some more of these Kiss Press On Nails. I like to use these because going to the salon can be very pricey and these work well. So they are the long ones. I don't like them super long, so I will trim them, but I just liked that color. The color is, does it say the color? It doesn't say what the color name is, but I just liked that color so I grabbed that. I also forgot to show you guys a pair of jeans that I got Madison and it's just the Cat and Jack straight jeans and I like these because they do have a adjustable um, waist because Madison sometimes her jeans can be loose around her waist as well so I like that it has the adjustable um, little waistline but I just got her these pair of jeans as well. And then I found this on clearance and it is a coconut milk moisturizing conditioner. If I could have found the shampoo, I would have got it, but they only had the conditioner and it was on clearance for $4.19. The brand is Pure Zero Clean Beauty and it smells really good. So I'm super excited to try this out. Also on clearance, this is going to be another like stock and stuffer for Ryan. I found this Nerf gun and it's a mini Nerf gun and it was only $1.50. So why not pick up little things like this and save for Christmas? So I'm gonna give that to Ryan for Christmas. I also got a new beauty blender. The one I have now is just super dirty, needed a new one. Then I got some stuff from the dollar spot section. So for Halloween, I got the kids these glow necklaces. I got them last year and they really loved it. So Madison obviously is going to get the cat and then Ryan will get the little pumpkin. And then you press the button in the back and they do light up. So I grabbed that for the kids. They were both $1. Then I grabbed this for teachers. I also grabbed something else for the teachers. I think it's in this bag, I'll show you guys. But both these were a dollar. So I like to give the teachers gifts throughout the year. So this one is just a bunch of different tags that you can hang on their gift bag. And then also these are just like thank you note cards that you can put um, in their gifts and it comes with eight. So I grabbed that. And then also for the teachers, I wish I could have found another one, but um, I found this clip folio 
it has a memo pad inside. So the front is a clipboard. And then when you open it, it does have a notepad so they can write with a, a little folder to put stuff. And I thought that was really cute. And this was only $3. I wish I would have found more. This is the only one I found. Ryan only has one teacher, but Madison has two. So I need to find two more. This one I'll probably give to Ryan's teacher. And if I can find two more, I'm going to grab them. But I grabbed that. And then I got a few more items from Dollar Spot. And I was so excited to find these items because I have been on a hunt for them. And I found this sign that I've been wanting. And I'm so excited that I found it. This was $5. And I can't wait to decorate for Halloween. So this is the first sign that I was in the hunt for that I found that I was, like I said, so excited. And then I was also on the hunt for this little Wicked Potion little, it's like a little stand. And I bought those little potion bottles from Target as well. I showed you guys my last haul and I plan on putting them here. So cute. This was also $5 and it's wooden. And then super excited, I found another pillow. I told you guys my last haul, I couldn't find a second pillow. I wanted two matching ones. And again, this is the very last one. I grabbed it. It was $5. It's a burlap cute pumpkin. And now I have two to put on my couch. And then the last item, I'm pretty sure this is the last item that I purchased. This one from also the dollar spot was only $3. And of course it's a hocus pocus sign because I'm obsessed and I'll probably put this like in my kitchen or something, but for $3, why not? Okay, I lied. There is two more items that I purchased. This was also from the dollar spot. And I thought the kids would like these glow foam sticks. I got one pumpkin one and then one ghost one for the kids. And they light up. And then now this is the last item that I purchased. And this was only $5. And I thought the plant was so cute. So what brand is this? It doesn't say what brand it is, but... For five dollars why not not sure where i'm gonna put it but i thought he was really cute so i grabbed this little faux plant okay so that is going to end my walmart and target haul i hope you guys enjoyed seeing all the items that i picked up this time around i will be filming a marshall's and also ross haul and that video will most likely be up sometime next week so if you guys are interested in seeing that haul, make sure you are subscribed with the notification bell turned on. I'm actually about to run out right now to Target because I have to pick up some items that the teacher just emailed me last night and said that she needed. So I'm about to go to Target. If I find anything else that I feel like you guys might want to see, then I will include that in the end of this video. If not, then this is just going to end the haul right here. So I did say I was heading out to Target and that if I picked up anything that I thought you guys might want to see in this haul that I would jump back in really quickly to show you what I picked up. So I'm going to show you guys really quickly what I picked up. I did buy like a lot of necessities for the house and stuff. So I'm not going to show you guys that, but I am going to show you guys. I did get two shirts. So this shirt is the Universal Thread um, brand and it was only $8. I got it in a size small. I usually get them bigger, but this looks pretty big enough so I just grabbed a small and I just like it's like an olive green color and then it has a pocket right here it's kind of like a crop top but it's not too cropped so I thought that was really cute so I grabbed that shirt and then I also grabbed this shirt because I'm that mom that likes to match with my kids sometimes and Ryan has a million dinosaur and Jurassic Park and Jurassic World shirts so I know I'm gonna get cool mom points once Ryan sees me wearing this but I got this Jurassic World t-shirt and just says or Jurassic Park and I got this in a size medium and this was $12.99 and it's just like a dark gray color and I thought that was really cute I can tie it in a knot down here to make it even cuter or tuck it in I'll probably wear it with like some distressed um shorts right now since it's still hot out but I grabbed this shirt as well and then I bought more makeup I know you guys are probably like you just bought makeup but I honestly haven't been buying makeup for a while every time I went to the store I would maybe pick up some like nail stuff but I haven't really picked up much makeup so I got this Revlon lipstick because it's supposed to be like a lip gloss lipstick um combo and a lot of my lipsticks are matte and it's very drying so I want something that's going to moisturize my lips so this is in the color 020 nude and it is the Revlon brand maybe I'll swatch it for you guys once I'm done showing you guys the rest I also got a new bronzer because I just realized I only have one bronzer and it's super old. So I got this Wet n Wild one and it is their Color Icon Bronzer in Sunset Strip Tease. And I thought that was a pretty color. And then I got two items from e.l.f. Both these had really good reviews. This is a Poreless Putty Primer because I feel like the Wet n Wild primer I got, it's not going to do good as far as like 
priming my skin. I feel like it'll be good to like moisturize and hydrate my skin. So I want something that's definitely going to prime and prep my skin. So I'm gonna try this one. And then I also got this e.l.f. Primer Infused Blush. And I've never heard of a primer infused blush. So I wanna try this. And this is in the color Always Cheeky. And I think that's a really pretty color. So that's the last item I purchased. But I wanna try this lipstick really quickly. Even though I'm about to eat lunch, we're gonna try it out and see how it looks. Cause like I said, it was on a display that said new and it said it was supposed to be like a lipstick lip gloss combo. So if I can get the tag off. Maple, what are you eating? My dog's trying to eat something. All right, let's hurry up here. All right, so this is how it looks. The packaging is really nice. So I'm just gonna, well, I'll swatch it on my skin and then I'll swatch it on my lips for you guys to see. So that's how it looks. I don't know if you guys can see. The sun's going in and out, but that's it right there. I'm gonna put it on my lips even though I have something on my lips already, but. All right, I don't know what's wrong with this lighting. I was trying to fix it, but this is how it looks on my lips. Like I said, it's going to look a little bit different the next time I put it on just because I already have lip product on. But yeah, I think it's a pretty color. It's really moisturizing. So, but anyways, that is going to now officially end this Walmart slash Target haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have not already, please consider subscribing. I am going to be filming a Marshalls and Ross haul. I'll probably film that sometime this week and then upload it next week. I'm also thinking about already starting to decorate for Halloween because I feel like October goes so quickly. So I might also film that this week and then upload it next week. So if you guys are interested in any of those videos, please subscribe and turn on your notification bell. I would love for you to be a part of my YouTube family. As always, thanks so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.